right. Weather is certainly warming up around here, but have your allergies been bugging you too? Whose has has it's been it, bad? Right? Yeah. Why your allergies are feeling worse now, and why things like menopause could be affecting them? After the break, Dr. DeRosa <laughs> explains. Well, who doesn't love the spring weather, right? It's been absolutely phenomenal out there. We don't love, though, the allergies that tend to come along with it this time of year. But did you know that a lot of things affect our body's reaction to this, including menopause? This came as a real shocker. We have Dr. Angela DeRosa back to explain exactly why. Good morning. Good morning. And love is in the air, but so are those allergies. Oh, my and gosh, it's yeah. it's gorgeous weather right now. But unfortunately, with that comes all the pollen and all the tree dust and everything else that's kicking up this time of year from all the lovely rain we had. And it's for both men and women, but this morning we pay mm -hmm. particular attention yes. to women mm -hmm. and how menopause may actually be to blame and not the allergies. Well, what's interesting is we all have some degree of allergies, um, the environmental, either genetic, there's lots of things that some of us are more predisposed to and some of us are gonna have worse than others. However, during menopause or perimenopause, as our estrogen levels drop, Think about this, we start to get vaginal dryness, which can impede sexual intimacy, but also all mucous membranes get dry. So imagine you have a lush forest that all of a sudden goes to a cracked <laughs> desert. You've got a lot of great adjectives this morning, my friend. I know. So when you get that cracked desert, things are more easily to get in. <laughs> I know, oh, I it's a lovely you. imagery. <laughs> so when those allergens are in the air and they have a very dry environment, it's yeah. much easier to permeate into those membranes so that we're likely to have more allergies and allergy-like symptoms or sinus infections or upper respiratory infections. And we're gonna get to what you can do about this in a minute mm -hmm. because, oh, if you're feeling what I'm feeling oh, yes. <laughs> right now, I know there are a lot of people out there. I'm just so excited that you're gonna give us uh, some alternatives. But again, you're talking about some of the causes here mm -hmm. and um and like the, the <laughs> dry cracked layer that we're dealing with all right so let's talk about this these are the causes here again mm -hmm. genetics environment your immune system mm -hmm. um, our hormones are to blame Sometimes, does that mean we yes. can blame it on our mama well, you, you can because genetically we're all predisposed to go through menopause at a certain time, but if you're a smoker or if you have other things that can certainly speed that up and also exacerbate those allergies. When should we be expecting menopause to happen? I know everybody's mm. different. Everybody is different on average. Most women go through menopause at the age 51.9 or 52 if we round up. But I'm starting to see that occur more and more soon. So in the 30s and really? 40s, but women's symptoms usually start in their 30s. It's a long, dreadful process. <laughs> so the absolute menopause is the average age of 52, which means the ovaries are retired, but they tend to slow down gradually over time, just like we do in life. Is there any way we could just skip this stage? <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mother Nature is not a very nice person but we can fight her back. So. All right, well tell us how to fight back. <laughs> Give us the tools. Well certainly if you wanna deal with just menopause, the hormones are the key, but also with allergies replacing hormones that estrogen actually will take that dry cracked desert and put it back to the lush forest not okay. only vaginally but in the mucous membranes in the and face you went there again exactly okay. sorry <laughs> but if you just want to deal with it symptomatically certainly adding moisture to those areas so right. you can have not only vaginal moisturizer but nasal moisturizer so salines uh -huh. um, you certainly can use the neti pots which yes. can those gross things of let me just tell you that's <laughs> a, the, from what i understand it works you just have to get over the whole process yeah, it's of kind of gross but yeah. for a lot of people that works really well it's flushing all those allergens out uh -huh. but also some nasal steroids which can actually kind of keep that area less inflamed and prevent the allergies from getting in there as well and that saline spray that yes. can get you through too absolutely all right dr DeRosa, thank you very much you're welcome appreciate your time this morning <laughs> always fun <laughs> all right